Hi guys, welcome back. Magic Farm 2 with me, Sid, and I'm wearing goggles of revealing. I got fed up of trying to get myself up into the right view, of trying to see what was going on in these umbilicals and stuff, and so now when I look at anything that's got any of the essences or vis in them, um, I actually get the little things going on so that's good and I have spent since the live stream two or three hours pottering around not, not two or three hours in total but two or three hours on and off obviously I researched these guys um, and I've been cooking up stuff in this got some strange aura or where are we it was off of these the Aurum, the little sun symbol. Um, actually, I could have got away. Uh, I had four in one of the thing, and I was kind of sat there thinking, oh crap, how do I get this to the point where I can get myself some... get them out. In the end, I just broke the umbil uh, umbilic, and that sorted it all fine. So now I have got, if I look at my Thormanomicon, we need air, water, fire, order, chaos, terror, and magic. Nine of each, and basically these things going on. So I've got my fire, got my air, got my water, got magic, got chaos, got terror, got order. I've got a few other bits and pieces that I started cooking up while I was doing it, just for the hell. So now, if I can get rid of, let me just, my backpack is glitched again, bonk, bonk, if I can just get rid of some stuff out of my backpack, or into my backpack I should say, I need that, and basically an entropy, an order, an earth, a water, a fire and an air. So we should have an entropy order, an earth, I haven't scanned that one, oh I uh, also found my th uh, thermometer, I will, oh hang on, earth, water, air, let me just put that down there, and fire, so that should be three, five, six, and one of those seven plus some silver wood. Right, let me just swap these over. My inventory is a complete pigsty. Let me just throw that earth shard on the floor and just give it a bit of scanning. Got some more research points that it's always for. So, what we need to do with this... make this silver wood rod is we need to have the... What's it? The Salis Mundus. So we'll stick you there. And then we... Now, apparently you're supposed to try and balance these off. So if I go and kind of put these on opposing corners... Um, hopefully, that will reduce the risk of any instability. Uh, now this one's going to have to go somewhere else, so that can just go like that. We need to stick a piece of this wood in the middle. So that's the crafting side of things. I need a wand. Don't know whether that's got enough on it. Oops. Let's give it a try. Right, it's off. And you can see it's starting to draw essences in from the... Um, jars. One of the reasons why I wanted to construct this room like this, so this could be in the middle and the various essences could be around the outside. This animation is brilliant. And once it's got all the essences, I think that's magic, you can see there's various little sparks of lightning coming off, that's probably the instability. So I don't want to get too close to it. It will start to eat the items 
Yep, you can see it's. Oh, there was a bit of instability. There we go. Any more? Yep, and we're done. Oh, and that's gone flying off over there. Okay, come here, one core. So that's my silver one core. Now the other thing I need is some thormium and I just want to get some thormium ingots uh, and I think this is just a case of doing that one two um, one is looking pretty good there and then we should just be doing maybe I need to do this just in a normal crafting table who knows? Let's find out. Wand cap. Wand. Come on, that's that's it, isn't it? All right. Let's have a look. There's something I'm missing here. So we get the wand. Uh, that gives us. Just in a workbench. Anything fancy with that? No. Oh, I see. That's the inner. We need to make some more of this stuff. God. With three of those. Wonderful. And some Aurum. I'm going to need that. And Potentia. I've got Potentia. I've got 24 of those, and so that's enough. I just need some Aurum, which is going to be entertaining, and I need to make up oh, that Solis Mundus again, which was basically oh, Essence and Shards. How many of those do I need? Six. So I've got loads of water shards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've uh, got loads of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna have to go around killing some wisps at some point as well. So make those up. Alright. I'm missing something here, aren't I? Okay, well we need I'm probably gonna have to go do my wonder charging thing again. One, two, yeah, I'm out of peace on that one. That's almost certainly not got enough, but we'll give it a try. All this for a wand, yeah, insufficient peace. Okay. In fact, I'll leave those in there. I'm going to go wand charging. So I'll be right back. Okay, being round, charged both my wands rather running with a Enderman. <laughs> um, so yeah, he dropped me some Ender Pearls and his head. Uh, in fact, I think I will decorate a little bit around here and we can, we'll have the Enderman head there. There you go. A little bit of decoration to, uh, arcane decoration to make it look a bit more uh, mystical. So that's three. I'm just going to use this cheat one to start off with. That's my, yep, that's got those done. Put you in there. Uh, so we need to do, let me get this right, we're going to need one here, one here, and probably one there, and then that, and I need some Aurum, um, which this stuff gives me two, so let me take two, four, six, eight, that gives me eight, how much did I need? Give me the book. Uh, give me the book. What have we got? Bang, bang, six. So I'm going to need to do two lots of Aurum. So that will give me eight. That will give me 16. And Terra, unfortunately. Uh, that's got 47 and it's not too bad. Right, so we'll cook that up. 
Now we should, with these th goggles, we can now see what's going into the actual thingies, the hoofa doofas. I'm going to want those. I'm going to want my labels. I'm going to want one label actually. Dunk. So you go out of the way. So 10, 9. So we should get 16 of each, I believe. Let's just wait till that's finished processing down. There's 16. And 16. So you need to go into here and you need to go into your own little jar with your own little label bonk and now armed with all that we should be able to make our first infused thormium wand cap and hopefully it will not be too instable. I love this bit. This is just... The animation on that is brilliant. Charge Thormium Wand Cap. Okay, another one. Um, salts. One. Two. Three. It's going to stand well back. <laughs> Feel like one of those guys that works in an uh, x ray department when they get you on the desk and uh, get you all set up and put the lead sheets over you and the slides and everything, and they all go and run behind a wall. <laughs> oh, that was nice and simple. Yeah, that worked. So we've now got two charged. Wand caps. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, crafting. I don't know whether it has to be that way or that way. Oh, come on. Da -da. Uh. Oh, it's a f you are kidding. First of all, I've got a 5% reduction. It obviously needs 54. That one gives me 95% V's cost. So what do I need to do to bring that down? Because obviously I can't build that until... Oh dear. All the fun of the fair. Let's have a look. I could go with a great wood wand. And that can store more. And Thormium absorb and store magic. It's logically very efficient, focusing Vs. Crafting is not sufficient. You need to be infused with magical energy to make them usable. Yeah, we've done that. But if I stick those, is it going to B better than oh god um, I think I am going to have to look at I've got the enchanted fabric and that can be used to make so I could make enchanted fabric to make the full mage outfit uh, and that is simply V's string and wool. Right, I'm going to grab some string, I'm going to grab some wool, I'm going to make myself a new wardrobe and be back in a moment. Okay, got the string, got the stuff, so I'm going to start making a bunch of this. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just leave it at that for a second. And I don't know whether this had to be done in an arcane. Yeah, probably. Do. Let's make 
the top. So still got plenty of V's there, so that gives me a 2% discount. Uh, I need a bit more. Let's make two more for the... Oh, what do we want? Kind of want the boots of the Traveller, actually. So we'll not do the boots. We'll do... It's going to be two... Three, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six. That should be... make me seven. Yep. And we've still got the base in there, so then we can just go and pop that round and make myself some trousers. Let me just check anything else in the old wardrobe options there. Oh, I can make I can make boots if I want to. Uh, I haven't got enough string on me, so let's just see. Oh yeah, looking snazzy. Let's have a look at that. Yo, wizard. Right, so with that in tow, we should now hopefully have... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, to God. Right, and we're going to have to go one charging again. See, you may wonder why I'm going to all this length, but the thing I want to do if I can find it where are you node in a jar now this is what I'm aiming to do once I've got a one that can carry that much vis I can go out to the nodes and build basically a glass cube around it with some wooden slabs on the top Zap it with my wand for that much, and that will give me a jar with the node in it. I can then bring the jar back here, situate them up nice and high, and I can basically line this entire room with nodes. So, when I hit this situation where I need more Vs than I've got in my wand, all I have to do is go oh, zap, 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 fill up, and we're done. So, you can see there's... Oh, where's that node? Hmm, there's a node out there that I've not seen before. In fact, there's two out there that I've not seen before. Right, well, I'm going to go and charge these ones up again. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so another trip over with. I'm going to have to do this again, of course, because in a moment I'm going to have a bigger wand. <laughs> it's not about size, apparently. Bang! It's going to require 49.14 Stormium Silver Bossed Wand. Now, that has got nothing on it at the moment. Uh, I might as well take you out with me anyway. I'm going to leave you in the table. I've got a load of glass. I need some slabs. So, we'll grab those and we will head out and charge up this wand and then we're going to grab a node. So, yeah, it's um, one of those choppy episodes with lots of cuts because there's lots of boring bits. <laughs> um, so I'm going to grab some slabs. Uh, I've also got some more There's some slabs. That's more than enough glass. Should I put on? I think I should put on my old armour and I will see you once I've charged this wand up and got one that I'm going to capture so see you in a moment okie dokie well we've got this one which is a nice four node it's just a aura node it's not a bright node or anything um, I'm guessing 26 of each is its maximum but it has got four essences there's one over there with about 45 of two. I'm just going to have a very quick scout round. They're actually, oh, pardon, sorry, just went to scratch my head, whack the mic with my hand. <laughs> um, they're a lot more common 
than you think. Even these guys up here, when you come up, I don't know, we can't see very well, but they tend to have not so many um, of the main essences. And a few of the subsidiary essences. I don't want to do the ones out in the water because it's just a bit of a pain to build around in the first instance. But I've just been wandering around and I think if, I mean, this is bad enough, the waypoints on here can see a, a pretty dense. I'm going to capture all of these. I'm going to capture so many nodes it's going to be silly. I may even have like a little walkway around so you can round that tower. So let's get this one just for the example. Uh, I've charged both ones up. He's got 50 on it. He's got 100. So what we can do is let's have a look. A bit of dirt to scaffold on. Alright, so that's the base, so take that off there. Get my glass, and we go over hop, and one, who are, yep, yep, you're there, that's fine, two, let's get this built in place. So it's pretty expensive to do this, but I think in the long run it is going to save so much time and effort um, that it will be worth it. So basically what we're doing is we're constructing a giant jar analog uh, bulk. Ouch. So that's in there and we basically go and there we go. Node in a jar and that has basically consumed 60 odd V's. I could have made it less but uh, whoop. so we've got my node in a jar I haven't got don't think I've got enough 9 18 I haven't got enough glass on me to do the uh, do another one if even if I charged it and this waypoint let's have a look map waypoints well, oh God, how do I get rid of that then without what's my coordinates 12 1200 minus 803 so I'll take this waypoint off find the relevant one 1200 803 that one delete done and yep yeah, that's cleared that waypoint so now I've got this node in a jar I can head back to the um, to the home probably pausing just to uh, refill this wand where I can wherever uh, and we can situate this this node right what are you we'll have that thank you very much Slurp. Yeah, we can put this node in a place in the thing and, and I can rinse and repeat and continue rinsing and repeating until I've got a collection of nodes to power my magic um, without having to do this every bloody time. See this one here, it's got fire and chaos, um, but it's also got the death and the, I'm not sure what that one is, I can't remember the, the like, moon, moon symbol. So we're heading this way, and I will see you back at the ranch. No sooner do I cut off than I see this. Look at this poor little... F oh, Tiger hit the ground too hard. Not entirely sure how. Okay, just a bit of flesh and bone. Another one here. This is quite good. I wish I had a, I must try and get a silk touch pick. Flynn was killed by a witch using magic. Nothing. Oh well, if I can get a silk touch pitch and pick those up, that'd be brilliant because I love those statues. They're really quite nice. Anyway, that was me just putting in there with interesting things. 
Sorry, more buttons. I don't know if any of you guys watch Anderzel uh, from the Minecraft server, but Leroy Jenkins was burnt to a crisp while fighting the Ender Dragon. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> I've not fully charged that, that's nowhere near fully charged, but I have got some more lease on it. I'll do that off camera. I just thought I'd. Oop, I'll get that way. I uh, know I'm stuck, help. But we're nearly back now anyway, so just, that was probably a good point to cut in. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Uh, right, so food. Almost through my first stack of fruit salad. <laughs> Doesn't last long on saturation, but you know, with all those apples, it'd be wrong not to. Let's go and give this little node a home all of its own. Now, I've got no idea how long I've been recording for, um, because when I've broken, I've not done my usual take the opportunity but here's my node in a jar um, bonk, bonk. so I'm thinking if I put, set that there that'd be a good point to have probably yeah we can we can work around the uh, um, L umbilicals no I will need to break you how do I break you then let's go at one no. All right, you'll, you can stay there for a minute. I'm going to get my book and check that because there must be a means for breaking those. Constructing a large version, notably become trapped inside the construct, quickly shrink to a margin, can be picked up, moved around. It does have a very good chance of damaging the node. All right. While trapped, it will not regenerate this, nor can you draw from it. It's possible to free the node from the jar by placing it in the world and clicking on it with a wand. The jar will be destroyed in the process. Ah, with a wand. Should have guessed, it seemed. And there it is. There's my node. Glowing up there. And we can just draw some fees from that quite happily. Charge my wand up a bit. So, if you imagine this with like, maybe three or four, maybe even all the way to the ceiling, of nodes like a big node catalog that is what I'm going to be doing um, needless to say and you'll be relieved to know not on camera so the other things I want to start looking at is probably researching some of these focus pouches and the one focuses frost shock equal trade excavation there's more than that wand recharge pedestal uh, that would be interesting to get obviously I've got to try and randomly pick these ones up uh, alchemy thormic restorer no idea what that does and the other thing we can start looking at is these essential tubes um, which will allow me to effectively I'll be able to hook tubes up to these guys um, pipe them round into the jars and basically the jars will do their thing so that's one option I've got these filters um, so it only allows certain ones to flow through God knows there's all sorts there's so much stuff in this mod it is <laughs> things I want, really want these boots of traveller and then we can obviously start on these guys as well. Arcane Lamp would be interesting. I built, I actually got the Infernal Furnace. I could actually start that. It requires 50 Vs to make it. Um, but I don't desperately need it. It's <laughs> long and short. Similarly, Arcane Levitator is not hugely needed. Helmet of Revealing. Ooh. Ooh, I like Thormic Tinkerer, that one's from. Hopefully, and then these might be interesting. The Paving Stone of Travel allows you to basically fast travel. Uh, and the warding keeps things out, which is nice. Anyway, I rambled. There's so much in this book that um, we could spend three episodes just reading it. How are you doing? You're charging back up slowly. So... That must be it for me for this uh, episode. 
we've actually managed to make some progress I think with this thing I will probably try and get my balcony system in place um, between episodes just a bit of building up there so we can wander around and uh, till then see you soon bye for now